Hi guys! So this is going to be my August and September Jewel Mint haul. Um, if you've followed me before, I did a Jewel Mint haul, but I guess it wasn't as informative. So I'm just going to give you a little bit more info on Jewel Mint in this particular video. And it is going to be quite um, a few pieces of jewelry in this one. Um, so if you don't know what Jewel Mint is, it is a personalized jewelry website by actress Kate Bosworth and stylist Sheer Culture. So, um, Sheer Culture, sorry. I'm, I'm a little nasally and stuffy in this video. But anyways, one thing that you really need to know about Jewel Mint is it is a subscription website. So meaning the moment that you buy your first piece with your credit card, um, they're going to keep charging you each month because you're subscribing to them. Now you can unsubscribe and you can also, one thing that um, you must remember, uh, you might want to put it in your agenda plan or whatnot, you can skip this month the um, like first five days of the month. So if you aren't interested, say for instance, um, for the August, I mean for the October collection, you can hit the skip this month button and they won't charge you anything on your card. Um, that's typically kind of what I do. Um, I like to hold off um, and I usually like skip this month and if there's like a coupon code I use that um, so then it's not the full price $29.99. By the way, each piece is regularly $29.99 but um, for the most part, I don't ever really pay the full price um, unless it's something that I really want and I can't find a coupon. You can um, join them on Facebook and they always tend to have coupons running or they'll send you um, an email about some special deal they're going or when they re-release a piece, which is really, really great. And I'm also going to leave a coupon code down below for those that are joining for the first time and you'll get 50% off. So instead of paying $29.99, you'll only pay $14.99, which is a great deal. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys these pieces. I've been holding off this video for a while because I wanted to get this last piece in that I was really, really excited to show you guys. So anyway... Um, oh, and as far as shipping goes, Jewel Mint does not ship internationally as of yet. Um, so I'm sorry for those that are um, out of the U.S., um, but there's really nothing that can be done as of this moment. Um, international shipping from the U.S. is very pricey, so I guess they're trying to work that out through the company. Um, also, another thing is, uh, for those of you that do live in the U.S. and you are planning to um, order... Just to give you an estimation of how long it takes for you to receive your piece, I would say give them three to five business days. It does take, um, it takes about a day for them to process your order and then they'll have a shipping tracking number through their website. And what's great is that you also have like a link to your jewelry box on the website, which pretty much just shows you all the pieces that you've bought. Um, so it kind of gives you an idea like, oh, did I buy this piece? And you can go on and check and see if you have um, bought it, and then that way you don't buy it again. Um, another thing I want to mention is if you followed me on Twitter or watched my previous video, you will know that two of my orders actually had gotten stolen. Um, and this was about a few weeks ago or a month or so. And I was really upset. Um, I'm still kind of upset about it because one of the pieces were re-re-release and um, they no longer had it in stock and I just couldn't get it, you know? Um, I didn't get it. Um, it was the Setting Sun piece and I am very upset about that because I was really looking forward to getting that piece. But um, fortunately enough, I also want to mention that... Jewel Mint's customer service, I personally haven't had a problem with it. I know some people complain about it through their Facebook um, page, but I really like their customer service. Um, they definitely want to keep their customers satisfied. I emailed them about my two lost pieces, and they offered to send me one of the pieces that they actually had in stock and gave me credit for one of the other because the setting sun wasn't in stock anymore, and uh, I thought that was great. Um, so... Just to give you an idea of what it's like to order from Jewel Mint, because I know for those of you that order online, it can be a pain. Um, I hate, like, oh, and they also get back to you through the customer service. It does take a few days, but you have to understand, this is a pretty big company, and it's getting very popular, so they do have a lot of orders and people contacting them. Okay, so I'm on my 
do a mint website, but anyways, I'm just going to show you these pieces. Um, for those of you that have not seen what the packaging looks like, it pretty much just comes in a black um, on like packaging envelope, uh, bubble wrapped envelope, um, and this is what it typically looks like. It's like a mint green color, and it has like a black stretchy bow that you can just take off and put on at any certain time. Alright, so... I took all these black straps off just to show you guys. So when you open your first piece, um, or when you, not first piece, when you open the packaging, what it looks like is it'll have a little summary of your piece that you bought, and then it'll have the black um, foam type thing to protect your jewelry. So that is just to give you an idea of what the packaging looks like. And, alright, so... The first piece I'm going to show you that I got is the Paramore necklace, or Paramore, however you want to say it. I'm not really going to read this, um, just because I'm, I'm going to try to save time and not read the little description. But, oh, and one thing I do want to know, like, or want to tell you guys, is I know they have these, you know, beautiful pictures of these pieces, and they have it on the model, but I personally believe that it's better to see it through a YouTube video in real life and kind of get a guesstimation of what it's going to look like. Um, so, the thing that caught my eye and, like, reason why I really wanted this necklace um, is just because it is, it consists of um, 16 promise rings. And, I don't know, I feel like it has a special meaning. I just think it's really, really cute. Um, so, this is what it looks like. Ooh! Sorry, that was like a fail. Oh my gosh, I haven't filmed in a while. It's, it's kind of funny. Alright, so I have worn this. Um, Alright, so don't mind my necklace right now, but... I want to give you guys an idea. Oh, and... Here's what the clasp look like. It has jewel mints on there. Um, pretty much all their necklaces, bracelets, and rings have jewel mint engraved on it. The only thing that doesn't would be the earrings, um, because they just don't know where to put it. So, just to give you an idea of the length, um, so it's about medium length. It um, it's you know it's a good coverage for your decollete area. It's not like really long and chainy. Um, I really like it. So this necklace though is. Um, mixed metals, meaning like, you know, it has like a little bit of bronze and silver and gold. So if you don't like that, you might not like this piece. But overall, it's very sturdy. It's not one of like their most heaviest pieces. Um, I do have their Unlock My Heart necklace, and that one is really like heavy weight. So this is definitely not one of them, but it is very sturdy, and I really like this. Alright, so let me just... I put these pieces back in the box to show you guys. I actually have, like, a jewelry holder for everything, so I just wanted to show you guys these. Alright, so the next piece that I got is the Krishna Diamond Earrings, and this is what they look like. Alright, so when you get it in the box, it comes in a pouch, um, a velvet pouch, which I think is really, really cute. Um, you can use it for other things, but... Uh, okay. So I'm sure you've seen these online, and this is what the piece looks like. Um, I really like it. Hopefully my camera's focusing. Oh, these earrings actually do have jewel mint on them, so... If you want to take a look in the back, this is what it looks like in the back for the Krishna earrings. Um, I think they're really, really cute. They're good for a night out. I mean, they're very, uh, kind of like fancy, I guess. Um, so they have, like, gold embellishments on it. Not embellishments, but, um, let me put these on so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. I'm only going to put it on one ear because I'm just lazy and, yeah. And as you can tell from the backing, it is a snapback. So, I mean, that's one good thing that you don't have to deal with, like, so this is what they look like. I hope you guys can see. I'm trying to get good lighting and set up. But I just think they're so cute. They're really, really pretty. Um, they definitely are very special and unique in a way. 
Um, for some reason, it could just be me, but in some certain lightings, um, the way you look at it through an angle, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of purple in it. It could just be me though, I don't know. But these are really cute. So yeah. Those are the Krishna diamond earrings that I got. Okay, and then the next piece is the Bella Flora earrings. Now I'm sure a lot of you have seen these. Um, these were actually one of the pieces that got stolen before, so I was really, really upset about it. But I'm so glad they still had it and they sent it to me. Um, it's just great. Um, I personally love this piece because I think it's really, really cute and it looks really good with people that have long hair. So medium, like medium to long hair. Or okay, so I'm just gonna put them on. So isn't that cute? Like you can, you can have your hair down and still be able to get like see a little bit of it through your hair, which I think is really cute. Um, it'll look really good for the springtime, even if you just wear it in the fall. It is definitely one of those beautiful statement pieces and very unique. It's, it's a, like much higher quality than anything you'll ever get at like Forever 21 or any of those costume jewelry. Um, although this isn't like, I don't know if you would consider this costume jewelry. I personally wouldn't. I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, it's definitely not cheap material and yeah. So here's a better glimpse of it. I think it's so pretty. I don't know. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, and if you haven't noticed already, my typical things that I get from Jewel Mint are earrings and necklaces. Um, I don't know, I just have a thing for earrings and necklaces, I guess. They, they're the things that catch my eye the most when I order from Jewel Mint, so. And then the next piece, um, again, this is orders from August and September, so I don't think I just bought all of this at once. Okay, so this is the Serpentine Necklace. Um, I'm gonna say, like, I, ha I have kind of, like, a mixed review on this piece. Haven't really had the chance to wear this yet, um, because it is a very, um, fancy piece, and haven't found the occasion to wear this yet. But it is also another mixed metal necklace, or piece, and for this piece, um, I don't know if you can tell the detail, but... This is what the um, the band looks like. So pretty much, it's like how you would wear a watch, or that's how my watch goes. Um, it snaps like this, and then you take it out and you wear it. Um, just to give you a a length estimation, so you can see. Um, sorry, ignore this piece right here. But if you can tell, it is pretty short um, so don't expect it to be really long it'll be great for if you're going on a night out and you wear like a nice either v-neck or like a, a tube top dress type deal um, so I think it's really really pretty it is also very sturdy um, but it's not heavy which is good because I know a lot of people that order from Jewel Mint they have a complaint about how heavy these pieces are um, I guess one thing that I'm not really feeling right now is this, this closure, this snap, like, closure for this necklace. I mean, it's cute that they did it this way, but, I don't know, I have one of, like, the hardest times dealing with these. Even with my watch, like, my guest watch is like this, and I have the hardest time. It'd be easier if, like, Mason was here or something. Yeah, so... Oh my gosh, I can't get it off. Um, this is not convenient. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is one thing that I don't like about this piece. Um, it tends to be a problem for me. I mean, it may not be a problem for others. Um, one other thing I want to mention, though, is that your hair can also get caught. Like, see? Because, let me just show you the material of this necklace. Um, your hair can kind of get caught in it, which is obviously a not so good thing and it tends to have these like curls or the tendency to like I don't know sw 
swivel up. That's why I don't like this. You have to be really, really careful with this piece. It's definitely one of those delicate pieces that you need to be more gentle with. Um, Alright, hopefully my camera will focus, but honestly I really can't tell. Um, it does have like this detail to it that's very, um, I don't know the specific word, but like if you look at it, it's not like your regular chain, it, it's very, very, uh, scale-like. Please focus. But you can pro probably kind of see it through the blur, kind of. So your hair kind of gets stuck through it, uh, depending on, like, sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's fine, but that's one thing I really didn't like about this piece. N overall, not my favorite um, necklace, but, I mean, it's alright. So, last but not least is... I got my hands. I really don't know. I'm pretty sure some of these pieces aren't available anymore, but some of them are, so you might want to check. Just um, If it is, I will put the link to, um, or put I'll put the names of all the pieces, and you can like go ahead and find it. But the last piece, which is also my favorite piece right now, is the Forever Audrey earrings. So I missed out on the chance to get the Audrey earrings because I didn't you know, subscribe to Jewelman at the time, but now that I've finally got my hands on Jewelman pieces, I love this. It's so, so cute. So, my camera will focus. I believe the difference between this is that the center of the flower is actually a deeper, darker color than the regular Audrey earrings. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it says um, our sparkly silver plated pair features crystal petals and a charcoal black inner stone. So some might be darker than others because I've known people, like I read people what they post on their Facebook page and some pieces, apparently like every piece of black stone in the center is like a different tone of black or something like that. So I just think it's really cute. Um, I don't I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of, like, stud earrings. Um, I only usually wear studs when, um, I have, like, dangly ones, and then I have, I have three earring holes here and then two here, so I would wear it on the top, and they're, like, really small studs. But these are really, really cute and classy. I mean, I like it because it's, like, a really big stud, so if you ever have your hair down like this, people can still see the piece um, on your ear and it's just really really pretty. So um, that is like my favorite earring right now. Like my favorite pair of earrings um, and I've been wearing it a lot since I've gotten it and yeah I was waiting for these to come in before I actually showed you my whole entire haul. And I guess the good thing is that it's the end of September so we'll see how October goes. Um, I am kind of cutting back on my spending so I haven't been buying a lot of things. There are a few more pieces that I would like to get from Jewel Mint but I mean it's not a necessity and right now I do have other things that I could be spending my money on um, more important necessities in life. So we'll see how the next month goes but I hope you guys enjoy this haul and I hope this gives you a better idea of what Jewel Mint is and like what the pieces look like in real life and as far as like lengthwise goes. Um, oh, and I must say that a lot of these pieces, the quality is very, very great. Like these studs, they definitely don't feel like cheap studs. Um, I don't know if I showed you the backing of it, but the back is just one of these. Um, but it is a very, very sturdy piece and um, all of these pieces are very well made. They're not anything that you would expect from, like, or, like, they're just not cheap quality jewelry. So, I guess it's worth it um, for $29.99, but like I said again, you can find coupon codes online um, almost all the time. So, yeah, don't worry about, like, spending, like, $30 every month because I'm sure you probably won't. It... Usually their coupon codes are like $5 off, $7 off, or $9 off, um, but 
again, I'm going to post a coupon code for those of you that are new to Jumits, and it's going to be 50% off. So take advantage of that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And check out my blog and Twitter and all the links down below. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.